Hey guys, Simply Betta here. My name's Taylor and I am a betta breeder. It's my passion, it's my hobby. I love working with these little tiny fish. I just love it. Uh, lately, I had a little tiny baby a couple weeks ago. And while I was pregnant before I had the baby, I downsized my fish room. Yes, I have an entire fish room just full of betta fish. I, I had to downsize just because of the exhaustion that comes with having so much to do and being pregnant. So I rehomed so many fish and now my fish room is like really empty. But you know, I had the baby, I recovered, it's been a couple weeks now and I'm feeling good. So I've decided I wanna get back into my hobby before winter hits, especially because it's really hard to ship live fish when it gets really cold out. As you can see, I already have snow, it's already getting freezing cold, so I had to act. So so I went ahead and I got new fish for the fish room to be my winter projects and spring projects and projects just coming up. So this is an unboxing video of live imported betta fish that I'm very excited to be working with. Let's open this box up and see how they did. So now before I unbox this, I'm probably gonna get tons of people saying like, oh, you're, you shouldn't be sending live fish in the mail. Arr. But let me just say that if the right person is shipping fish, if you're careful, you're not gonna lose fish. I have never lost a single fish shipping because I'm very careful about how I pack the fish, about where I'm sending the fish and the temperatures, and I've never had a bad experience. That being said, I am not the shipper of these fish. I am the receiver. I don't have a whole lot of control. So I'm just gonna really gently tip this box. Yes, I know there's fish inside, but they're in plastic bags. They're not gonna be hurt by tipping the box. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this insulated. There we go. I very carefully am just turning it upside down. Okay, lift that up. There we go. Here are my fish. So here's my box of betta fish. They're all from Thailand um, and they're from people who I like. They're from breeders I like or they're a specific fish that I wanted for a specific purpose or project, um, like, like genetics wise or form wise. So I'm just gonna start opening them up. Now this is the most nerve wracking part of the whole process is just making sure these little guys got to me safe and we have safe fish number one. This right here is a bicolor white and blue female. It's kind of hard to see her in the bag, but you can see she's doing really well. Fantastic. Set her aside. Another healthy fish. Great. So this guy is a Dumbo. He's a short fin Dumbo gold. And he has these big, beautiful Dumbo wings and he's just a beautiful fish. And he's healthy. I really like this seller. I've gotten their fish in the past. They've all done really well. They've all looked great. Here's another one. Ooh, he looks so great and healthy. This is a black dragon samurai. And I've, I've always thought that the samurai uh, markings looked really cool. It's like, it's just this, it's like a partial dragon. The dragon iridescence is controlled and it's just along the top and I just think it's really cool. This winter, I wanted to experiment with it. Opening the next one, another healthy fish. This is a koi female. I really liked her form. She's really nice and she looks great. Next. So my first fish was a bicolor female. This is a bicolor white and blue male. So why am I interested in this? Usually, when you see these types of colorations, in my experience, these fish turn solid blue because of that marble trait. The fish change color throughout their lives, so if you get a beautiful little fish like this, usually it turns blue. But according to this breeder that I like, these fish don't do that, which is possible. Maybe it's a stabilized line of these beautiful bicolor fish, and I'm. this is like a curiosity. Like, is this seller, breeder, telling the truth, or are these fish going to turn blue? I guess we'll find out. Next. Ooh. So this is a really pretty boy. This is a short fin crown tail, which I have never, ever had or kept before or worked with before. So this is more like a, a pet, a curiosity. I'm going to see if I fall in love with short finned crown tails. The next fish is a beautiful little platinum white female. 
there she is. So far, all the fish have been looking really good. In this one, it's kind of hard to see because the bag is sort of uh, blocked out, but there's a fish in there, a beautiful, beautiful marble that's called a, a Nemo. He looks good. And then I have a matching female in there as well. Impossible to see, but looking pretty healthy. I'm so excited about this fish. This is a half moon female who is just really pretty. And again, she's impossible to see in there. Here's another female I fell in love with. And she, I really want to work with her this winter. I'm very excited about it. She looks good. They're, everyone's a little on the cold side, um, but it doesn't feel you know extremely bad. It's just definitely a little chilly. But I'll go get these guys acclimating to temperature in my fish room as soon as I'm done opening them up. Ooh, and a male who I am very excited about because he is one handsome boy. Remember I had that gold Dumbo male earlier? Here is a gold Dumbo female. She looks fantastic. She looks fantastic. And here is a beautiful big marble male. Oh, he is not looking very happy, but I'm gonna go get him acclimated and hopefully that will change. This is a male half moon that has some really pretty marbling. I've never done like a koi marbly half moon before and I wanted to try it this winter. That's why I got that other beautiful uh, marbly koi female. My voice is starting to give out a little bit. I've been recovering from a pretty bad cold. Just a few more, dang it. These are some of the fish I was most excited about, but it's really hard to see them because they have the blacked out bag. This is a really cool looking partial dragon. Yep, totally can't see him in the bag, but look at that cool, just, Marking, he has the coolest marking where it's like up on his head. Uh, I just think it's, it's really, really neat. And I saw him and I was like, oh man, that there is my project. And then this bag is totally blocked out, um, but I can see in there that the female is, you know, she looks good. Man, okay, I am putting all the fish back in the box. I'm bringing them down to the fish room. They're gonna slowly acclimate to temperature and then I'll get them all into their own containers just for really close observation for the next couple weeks. Make sure that they're all coming in nice and healthy. That's a lot of fish. I just put 17 fish into this box. You guys might think I'm crazy. I might be a little bit crazy, but I'm looking forward to working with a whole bunch of fish I've never worked with before, new projects, new things to see if I like them, if I enjoy them. Because I, I pared down so much in the fish room, I just wanted to bring a bunch of new projects in and have a lot of fun. Cooped up inside this winter because I don't like going outside when it's cold. I don't like it, I don't like it anymore. I grew up in Alaska all my life, I'm sick of the cold. I could never be in like winter conditions again and I could be totally happy. I belong in the jungle, I swear. Ooh, you see how blustery it is outside? You see that wind blowing and that snow? Burr. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to stay tuned and just follow along on all these fun projects and all these great beautiful fish and hopefully I'll have a bunch of beautiful fish available soon. I'm filming this like two weeks later. If I look haggard and crazy, it's because this little guy's driving me, driving me crazy. Oh. Can I ever just have a moment to myself? I'm just gonna splice this in, in the middle of my video. There were a few fish missing from this shipment. Because of the missing fish, um, I had to go ahead and I had to get another box sent to me just with the missing ones in it. So this is actually two unboxings, there's two boxes. a little while since I posted. I actually filmed this video that you just watched several months ago. And my, my reasoning for that was I wanted to go ahead and film an import and then a few months later show like the spawns or the progress I've made or how the fish are doing. 
that sort of thing. I feel like I would have done this earlier, like kind of before Christmas, but I was absolutely just waylaid by the holidays. I had no idea how hard it was gonna be juggling everything in my life. Before the holidays came around, I was like, oh, you know what, it's gonna be no problem. I can make two videos a week and juggle my family and the new baby and the toddler being out of preschool and family visiting and all the parties and all the cooking and all the obligations around the holidays. No big deal, I can do it. <laughs> I found out I could not do it. I was absolutely destroyed by having to juggle everything. Just now, and am I able to feel like I'm recovering? I'm recovering from the holidays, it feels good. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I wanted to do a before and after of this import, but I have had some terrible things happen. Ah, oh, some terrible things. Right away, I did lose one of the fish that came in the shipment, a big koi male, which was very unfortunate, but it was it was just because of shipping. And then uh, I had them for about a week, they looked great, and then I lost one to Dropsy for who knows what reason, um, so I was a little bit unlucky there. But the more unlucky thing is that over the holidays, not only was I dealing with all the holiday madness, but I was also having a sickness tear through my fish room and kill handfuls of fish. So that was fun. Merry Christmas, Taylor. Merry Christmas. Just now is my fish room finally recovering from this and I still don't really know 100% sure what the sickness was. Only a few of my fish responded to antibacterial treatments so I can't really talk about what was going on. Very unfortunate and very frustrating. And I also haven't made videos for a while because I've just been so downhearted because of it. I've angered the fish gods. I'm just starting to get over this now and feel better and not feel like a total loser. Which I feel like sometimes when I make mistakes or when bad things happen that even, even if I have no control over them, I'm a little hard on myself. So that's the update on my fish. I have to get back to work. I have to get back to doing things. I have so many things I wanna do. And now that the holidays are over, I think I can finally uh, work on this huge to-do list that I have. I'm feeling invigorated again. I'm feeling good. Thanks so much guys for watching. And I really appreciate all you people who watch me. This is the little guy who's been keeping me so busy. Haven't you been keeping me busy? Oops, I got lipstick on you. So thanks so much for sticking around, guys. It's time to get back to making some fun content and trying to get over this, this sickness in my fish room that's absolutely brought me down. Absolutely brought me down. It's time to start feeling better and getting back to work. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.